Hello and welcome back for another maths lesson on estimation. Now, can you remember the other word that we can sometimes use? Well done, guess or guessing. Okay, but we prefer it if we could use the posh word, which is estimate. Okay. Now, let's just quickly recap our learning objective again for the week. So, we're showing our understanding of estimation by doing different activities. Our success criteria is to explain what estimation means. We can all definitely do that. And we are using our estimation to work out different problems, which we are doing. And we are even explaining our reasoning when talking about our estimation. So, that's using our oracy skills to explain our answers. So here on this example, I have got a picture of different mini beasts in a garden. Now we're going to have a look at these caterpillars just here on the screen. And I'm going to estimate that there's five because I don't think there's any less than five. And I definitely don't think there's more than ten. So I'm going to go five. And now let's count them together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So well done, that was a good estimate. Five was very close to six. So now I'd like you to have a go. We've looked at estimation this week, so we should be able to do this easy. I want you to look at the spiders here at the bottom of the screen. And very quickly, remember, don't count. Have a quick estimate. How many spiders do you think there are? Say your number out loud. Okay. Can you explain to me why did you say that number? Okay, good explanation right now. Let's check and see how many there actually are. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Well done, your estimate was very good. Your number was very close to six and good explanation as well. That was really good use of your oracy skills. So your task today is to use the same mini beast picture that we've looked at, but there are going to be different questions for a grown up to ask you. Now, some of the questions are more challenging than others. So we're near the end of our estimation week, so we should be pretty good at it now. But it might ask you things like, can you compare? So look at the ladybirds with the spiders, or it might ask you, which mini beast do you think there is more of? So do you think there's more butterflies, more ladybirds, more caterpillars, or more spiders? And remember, the most important part is to be using our oracy skills and explaining our answers. So using sentences like, I think there are eight butterflies because there are more than five, but less than 10. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Well done, you're working really hard, and I'll see you again tomorrow.